Hey, afternoon. Uh, we welcome to Algin Gardens. Uh, we are out here today. It is March 16th, uh, 2024. The year of our Lord. Amen. Um, <laughs> but we are outside. It is a beautiful day today. The sun is shining bright above us. Um, it's midday, probably around three o'clock, almost three thirty. And I figured I'd get out here today. I was already out here and getting the area prepped um, and ready for um, me to put my trellises back up. Um, the ones that I took down earlier this year or last year rather um, and refresh the netting for it for the trellis that I'm going to be doing. So you'll see that in the coming up in the upcoming video uh, when I do the peas because uh, they're about ready to go out now. Um, and so that should be coming up soon. Um, however, today, since it's so beautiful, I thought I'd get out here the next couple of days today um, and tomorrow is supposed to be really nice. Um, and kind of just clean up the areas. Um, there's uh, some extra beds that I have that I'm going to be swapping out. Um, and I'll show you. Um, and I'll swing it around this way. Um, so you can kind of see right above my shoulder right there, that bed. Um, it kind of is coming apart. Um, and I have some um, bird. Uh, are they birdies? Birdies. One of those. Yeah, birdies. Then I'm going to replace this one and, and its corresponding one on the other side with once that goes. So you'll see me, probably I'll do a video on that maybe, um, where I'm just replacing that with the one unless, you know, my brother comes along and he fixes that. Um, he's a magician, so we never know. Um, but what I'm doing um, and what you'll probably see me doing, and I'll do a couple clips of it, is I'm just going to be going around um, here. The sedum is growing up. It's coming in really nice. Uh, so you're going to see me just going around all the dead heads and things of that nature, cleaning up the beds, weeding, um, putting more chips. Um, I have wood, did a wood drop or wood chip drop, um, which is free. Um, you can sign up for that on line chipdrop.com um, see if they're in your area and so all of these areas where the weeds are going I'm going to be taking the weed whacker out here just cleaning that all up laying down some cardboard that I've saved from all of my Amazon and Christmases and all that stuff that I have piled up in the house um, in the dining room clean all that out but I'm going to lay that down in the wood chips on top just to kind of clean up the walkways a little bit um, and with cleaning up the walkways before I can get to that there are a couple things that grew on their own that I'm going to move um one of that is borage um so you're going to see me I have like a little borage farm um that I'm going to be moving those from out of the middle of the out of the middle where the trellises are all of that greenage is actually borage that reseeded itself. Uh, so here's a helpful hint. If you grow borage, which you should, it's a great pollinator. Um, but it will reseed itself and it will grow where it wants to grow. So I'm just going to move it out, put it on the S outskirts of the garden. It's going to be beautiful blue purplish uh, flowers to it. They smell delicious. Um, they're wonderful. They're edible. They're medicinal. Um, and they also are repellents for your tomatoes and they are said to help sweeten your tomatoes. Um, I did, I don't know if it was the borage that did it, but my tomatoes were deliciously sweet last year. Um, so we got, um, things that we're doing. One of the things that's in the walkway, which I'm going to show you. So hold on, let me flip the camera is I have, uh, volunteer strawberries, um, and I hope the shadow isn't getting it too bad. I have volunteer strawberries, um, and that I noticed when I was doing the new blueberries or adding the new blueberries. Uh, so what you're going to do, what I'm going to do in cleaning up this area in particular, and let me just go around to the strawberry bed itself. Um, uh, I'm going to be cleaning out this bed. Um, kind of like all of this brown material, um, all of these extra runners that lead to nowhere. I'm just going to take and come and put my gloves on for this part, uh, just in case there's any spiders, any, any, um, ants or anything. I have red ants, uh, so I want to be mindful of that. Um, but all of these runners, see, like all of these, these are new. Sorry, let me focus a little better. Here you go. So these strawberries, these are all brand new strawberries. Um, 
that are going to produce this year um, for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a bunch of these, not all of them, um, but the majority of them before I weed whack in here. And look, they've trellised or trellised. They've slid all the way down here. Um, I'm going to pick a lot of those up. And I'm going to put them in these small strawberry towers that I have here. Um, I really didn't use this last year because I had the whole strawberry bed. But I'm going to use it this year. I have this one and then I have one that's on the patio that I had herbs in. But I'm going to refresh all of this soil um, and take those runners, place them in, in here and the other one um, just as an extra area uh, that I have strawberries growing. So you'll see me refresh it. This is some of the uh, soil that we created, lighten it up, um, that we created when we did the green stalk. Uh, so we're going to take that. We're going to dump this one because I haven't refreshed this probably about three years. So we're going to take that. And since I have some extra peat moss here, we're going to add peat moss to lighten it up. We're going to add some vermiculite to help with moisture. We got some perlite to help with drainage. Um, and then we're going to add some fertilizer to all of this and kind of make new beds for those strawberries to go. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. Um, as I pluck one, I'll show you exactly how it looks so that you can kind of get an idea of how to actually do that. So I'll be back in a little bit. Let me just freshen up these beds, or <laughs> these towers rather. And yeah, I'll be back. So I wanted to show you kind of, um, as I'm going through this, there are still a couple bare root strawberries in here um, that I think are going to sprout back. So I kind of wanted to show you what a bare root strawberry looks like. So this is what you may find typically in the stores. And pardon me, I'm just trying to get as close to it so you can see it. Um, so you'll see a lot of videos or people talking about when you put in a bare root, this is what a bare root looks like. Uh, you want to make sure that when you plant it, that it's planted so that the crown, let me just drop this really quick so I can point it to you better. You want to plant it so that the crown, this part, is not buried. So I'm going to replant this in the pot and you'll see I'll show you when I pull out a live, more alive plant, but I'm going to leave this part out of the dirt i'm only going to bury it up to here because if the crown isn't showing then the strawberry plant will not grow so here when you get a bare root from the store if you buy it that way all of this stays above ground this is the part that you're burying just the roots okay bare root so you can see how compacted this soil is. Um, and I kind of don't want that for the plants. Um, I want to give it some type of life. Um, it's got a lot of roots in here. Um, so I'm just breaking that up. If you can see, here's another crown. Or here's another bare root strawberry. Uh, so when I replant this, all of this is going to still be exposed. So I am just getting everything I know to be a weed out. And this, I had straw covering it. So I'll incorporate that straw. It'll help with drainage. No big deal. There is a crown in this one. 
Now here's, I'm gonna think I'm gonna experiment because from what I understand, um, after a few years, this original crown is no good for growing. It's the runners that's gonna start producing the new strawberries. Um, but I'm curious to see if those ones that still have the good roots on them, if they'll give me uh, any strawberries. So we'll see, won't hurt to see. But I'm gonna be honest. Once you once you get those first initial plants, you should not really have to. I'm not saying you shouldn't have to, because <laughs> typically you won't have to buy new strawberries because they'll reproduce. But then you could be like me, where I enjoy different varieties of things. Uh, so you may find more berries that you like. So I'm not gonna tell you don't ever buy another strawberry plant. Obviously. This is the one from the Dollar Tree that was on my porch that I did a lot of herbs and I did some uh, some some pack um, choy in this. Um, but I'm gonna move the pack choy and stuff to the greenhouse and the rest of the herbs to the green stalk rather. And so this is unfortunately this was just too bad. I couldn't. It's gonna dry out the soil too much. So we're just gonna do four here and five here which is cool it's cool still gonna do what it do just wanted to show you i have some granule granular um that i'm gonna just add to this and all i do um because as it rains it'll kind of break down and get to the bottom so in each pocket i'm just giving a little bit of the granular not too worried about the middle part this part here for the ones below um because nothing really is going to grow there but I just kind of wanted to show you that I'm just adding a little bit of granular fertilizer to help with these plants as they grow. Hey, for all you guys that couldn't see earlier, this is what I mean by I was taking up the, you know, the weeds in here. And this kind of, as I was moving things, this kind of just fell all the way out. So... I'm gonna replace this. This was my trellis where I did um, my winter squash and stuff. Um, and over here is going to be netting. You'll see me install that. Um, and if you hear all the sounds, that's just um, 
birds floating around in the grass over there getting bugs. Um, but here is where I'm going to line up the peach. The peach. Why am I <laughs> got peaches on my mind? I'm going to line up the peas here. They can be planted close together, um, and they're ready to go. I did soil blocks for those, so they're ready to go in. Um, and so I'm just out here taking care of plants. This is some collars that I have that can go. But sorry for the movement all over the place. So I have borage, 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 borage everywhere. And this is normally where, as you can see the wood chips, this is normally where I just have a smooth walkway to go in and pick things off the trellises. So I don't want to get rid of the borage. Um, so I'm going to move it from place to place with my handy dandy hoary knife. Um, so you're going to see some of this move, some of it, not all, some of it. But I wanted to show you come and get this guy here. Ooh, snails. I can get some beer traps out for these. This is terrible. So, this is how your strawberry plants keep duplicating. And if you can see, this is probably coming all the way from over here once upon a time somehow. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first see this is where it ends. So I am going to dig this up. And pardon me, I'm trying to do this one-handed. This is connected to these. I'm going to cut Whoa, there you go. I am going to cut here. And this will be planted till about right here. This, this is what I just pulled up from here. This is the crown. So I'm going to plant it till right here where my thumb is. Hope that helps. I'm going to try to zoom in as best I can so you can kind of see how this one is already working it out. So here's so the strawberry. See. Can we get in? Here's the crown. I'm going to dig it and bury it so that the... Dig it up here, place it in the um, tower so that this crown is visible. All right? All right, so... This is what we just pulled from the side of the garden bed. So I kind of wanted to give you a better close up. So this is the strawberry plant, right? This is the crown. And it's a little bit easier to see now that it's green. This is the runner. So I am nipping the runner. it and this is going to be buried now but notice how I leave the crown above Got it? You want to make sure you're not burying this crown. So all of this should be above, should be above the, the um, soil. Or else you won't be getting anything. <laughs> does that make sense? Hope it does. I could be out here all day, so I'm sorry. You're getting snippets of great strawberry plants that I'm pulling but look 
soil life is everywhere. Earthworms are everywhere making this soil so rich. And this is just the walkways. Um, I'm not going to get rid of this little guy. He's going to get a home in one of the garden bags. Look at that. Get in there, little guy. Have fun. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Well, folks, we got them in. Strawberries. Mm -hmm.